We interrupt our programming to bring you the following special report. The Ryan Report. Whatever opinion they had ain't gonna change nothing I'm doing. What was the story he told? Because I, I was there. It's time for The Ryan Report. It's like Jay-Z, all eyes on us. On the People Station, Z103. It is your Ryan Report right here on the People Station, Z103. And it's being brought to you by McDonald's. One dollar every size is back at McDonald's. Grab any size coffee, soft drink, or large sweet tea for just one dollar. Always convenient. Always just one dollar. A la carte only. Price and participation may vary. All right, let's start off with the fact that Beyonce just minds her own business. Yeah. Uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce on the internet yesterday. Beyonce was nowhere to be found, but just being talked about. Okay. On CNN, after, you know, Donald Trump and Billy Bush and the whole thing from 2005 came out about, you know, the crude language. Yeah. They were trying to defend, uh, you know, my man Trump on CNN saying, wait, wait a minute. Hillary Clinton loves Beyonce and Beyonce has some very colorful language. Here's a clip. Okay. And which is that Hillary Clinton expresses that she finds the language on that bus horrific, but in fact, she likes language like this, quote, I came to slay when he F me good, I take his to Red Lobster. Did she say that? That, that happens to be oh, a Beyonce line from Beyonce. That. Yeah, I know, that's Her Beyonce's. Her favorite performer, whom she says she idolizes and would like to imitate. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying to you? There's a lot of hypocrisy okay. in Hillary no. Clinton expressing such horror. Okay, Betsy. The- okay. You know yeah. what that says to me? What? That they're trying to take extreme measures because yeah. they know that it's pretty much a wrap. Uh, they, they don't even, that don't even make no sense. I'm not saying a wrap. We just need to make sure we get to the poll. Yeah, please get to the poll. Yeah, that's right. like, t- that's like, we got to try whatever we can now. Yeah. That's what that is. All right, let's move on to uh, Drake. You know player of the year. Drake <laughs> made a lot of money, did a lot of dates. The summer 16 shut down many cities. And then Drake hurt his ankle. Now he has canceled the rest of his tour. Hmm. According to a spokesperson, they said Drake suffered a severe ankle injury during the tour, which he did his best to power through. By doing this, he made his injury worse. Yeah. Under doctor's orders and to ensure Drake only ever gives fans the performances they deserve, he will be postponing the remaining three dates of his summer 16 tour to allow him time to recuperate from his ankle injury. Hmm. His fans mean the world to him, and seeing their faces and performing his music for them is what he loves to do the most, and he can't wait to get back to the stage. The question is, Drake, you should have taken your own advice. Like a sprained ankle, boy, ain't nothing to play with. You said it yourself? <laughs> Tell him again, Mark D. Like a sprained ankle, boy, ain't nothing to play with. You got a sprained ankle. Ain't nothing to play with. It ain't nothing to play with. What is wrong with you? Hey. Drake's fans live it. Yeah, they're upset. Live it. Hate. Mad. Talking about why in the hell can't Drake just go back to Degrassi and come out on stage in a wheelchair? <laughs> Oh my God, that's terrible. They are so mad, that is so like, bro. Just go back in the wheelchair. Petty alert. That is so petty. Petty wop. Yeah, right. All right, moving on to the lawsuit that yeah. nobody saw coming. If you're a fan of being Mary Jane, people got some concerns this morning. So you know they're filming right now, and right. they're filming most of it out here in Atlanta, right? So Gabby what Union, up, Gabby? what's up, Gabby? Gabby is saying she's getting played into doing way more episodes of the show than she agreed to do in a single season. All right. At a lower price. Okay. Okay. So there's a lawsuit. She's suing BET, saying that BET is cramming 20 episodes of Being Mary Jane into season four instead of splitting them in two like they originally were supposed to do. Right. Problem is, she says the network execs repeatedly promised her that there would never be more than 13 episodes in one season. She had a pay raise due. Right. So she was making 150 grand per episode. That was supposed to go to 165 grand in season five. So she's saying they tried to put all the seasons together so right. they wouldn't have to give her that money. Exactly. That money. And so now she's suing for breach of contract and she's seeking more than one mil in damages. Well, you know. Yeah. She's struggling. I know, right? The guy ain't got no money in that. Yeah, like she's that. got, you know, she's <laughs> a, so, a, a marriage to a guy who has yeah. no money on this. But it's principles it's of this Like, like I feel thing, Gabby right? on that. Yeah, Shout out to is. Gabby. It is, man. All right, it is official. The picture that everybody's been waiting on, people.com just put it up, but we're going to put it up too at v-103.com. Everybody was wondering, is or is she not pregnant? Is or is she not going to have a surrogate? Is or is it going to be, you know, a fake baby? 
Janet Jackson has posted with People Magazine, the official, I'm pregnant for real at 50. Are you ready? I want to see it. You ready to see it? Let's see it. There you go. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's a real baby bump right there. Yeah, that's a real deal. That's a yeah. There's a healthy baby in there. Watch V103.com. Check this out right now. 726. Free Money Kitty is up next. Janet at 50. Looks awesome too. There you go, man. People yeah. station is V103. Like a spring ankle boy, ain't nothing to play with.